Welcome back. Recognizing innovation and leadership, Women of Innovation is a Connecticut Tech Council program and is one of the largest networks of women in technology, science, and engineering in Connecticut. We are joined live by two of this year's finalists, Cherie Griffith Dunn, founder and CEO of Cybrotech Inc., and Marsha Lafemina, president of Penn Globe. Nice to be with both of you. Thank you. Nice to be here. Of Thank course. Thank you for having us. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. I understand 45 finalists. So yeah. the two of you you are part of that select group obviously it takes a lot of hard work and yeah. to be recognized for that as a finalist is outstanding so let's start talking about Cyprotech before we get into the award uh, that's happening let's learn more about your background uh, thank you so um, Cyprotech uh, Technologies Incorporated, uh, we created an AI-powered cybersecurity dashboard that sits on top of any security system. Wow. What's unique about it is that it provides the company a 360 visibility across their entire organization, identifying exactly who and where the threat is coming from, as well as being able to stop the attempted threat in its core um, in its core capacity. Helping a lot of people, a lot of businesses, I'm sure. That's wonderful. And let's learn more about Penn Globe. Well, we're the oldest outdoor street lighting company in the country, making the old decorative gas light fixtures, but now converting them to energy efficient LEDs and introducing smart technologies into the light fixtures where it's applicable. And how does it feel to be women recognized in the STEM field? I, I, I had this conversation with a couple of ladies last week, and I think it's a field that is predominantly men. There aren't as many women, and I think we agreed on that. So to be recognized for being part of the STEM field, making a difference. How does that feel? Yeah, it's everything because it validates all of the hard work um, that myself and my team have done to create this technology. Um, but it also uh, creates a huge impact in our community because it's a milestone, especially for women of color, um, being able to go into technology. You know, I think of myself and I look at all of the young girls who will come behind me. It gives them an opportunity to say, there is a space for me to be in technology and allow them to be innovative and creative in their own right. I love that. Beautifully said. And I think there's an opportunity to showcase to younger people across the board the breadth of STEM yeah. that you, and, and STEAM and the mm -hmm. art component. So how to you know, factor all of that in with the various amounts of skills that people have that they don't even recognize that can be introduced into career paths for STEM and STEAM. Very true. I think when people hear STEM or STEAM, they're automatically going to engineering or math, right. but there are so many different facets exactly. within it. And two of you ladies right here with us are representing that. So congratulations. Let's put up the deep details right here of when this is happening. October 22nd at the Woodwinds in Brantford, Women of Innovation Awards, and you can learn more by visiting the website you see there. We will link you to it on WTNH.com. Best of luck and congratulations. Thanks for having us. Thank Keep up the so good much. work. Inspiring. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.